I'm Ryan Schwab of Schwab Digital, and I want to talk to you today about the workflow, signal flow, and gain staging of Gold Clip. The first thing I want to talk about is just the organization of Gold Clip. On the left side, we have an input meter. On the right side, we have an output meter. Those meters have glass faders on top of them, and those glass faders are input trim and output trim. Those trims have 12 dB of gain, 12 dB of attenuation. That gain and attenuation shows up on the input and output meters. Right now, I have a drum beat going through Gold Clip, and the peaks of that drum beat go to 0.0, .0 dBFS. So that's right before the clip point. You can see that this clipping meter right here says 0.0. .0. That means that it's not doing any clipping, right? And then the output meter says negative 0.1 dBFS. That's the true output of the plugin. Now with this drum beat, we're not doing any clipping yet because the peaks are at zero. If I add 2 dB to input, I'm going to get 2 dB of clipping. You can see that 2 dB of clipping showing up here in these peak holds. At the top, it says 2 dB in the clipping meter. And then down here at the bottom in the clip clock, it says 2 dB of clipping happened at four seconds into the song. So this clip clock constantly tells you the place in the song where you're doing the most amount of clipping with gold clip. Similarly, if I add 4 dB, I'm gonna get 4 dB of clipping and it's gonna show up in my clip clock. So 4 dB of clipping, it happens at four seconds into the song. Clip clock actually shows it as 3.99 dB of clipping because it has an extra decimal place. Output is still 0.0, .0 dBFS. Now the problem with adding 4 dB of input gain is that now everything is 4 dB louder and the perceived loudness is different, so we're just going to think it's better. So a solution to that is to turn on trim link. And now input and output trim are inversely related. If I add 4 dB of input trim, I'm going to take away 4 dB of output trim, right? Now I'm still going to get 4 dB of clipping, 4 dB at 4 seconds into the song, but now instead our output meters are going to show negative 4 dB. So what we essentially just did was maintain perceived loudness, but dropped peaks down by four decibels with clipping. Now there's another way to do the exact same thing with just a slightly different workflow. If I don't want to have these gain linked, I want to have trims off. Now what I can do is instead of adding four dB of gain, I can lower the ceiling to negative four dBFS, and I'm still going to get four dB of clipping and the output is going to be negative 4 dBFS. Let's check that out. So you can see the gold gets brighter above the clip needle. 4 dB of clipping in the click clock at 4 seconds. Output is negative 4. And we have essentially done the exact same thing, but we did it two different ways. Now you may ask, why would you want to do the same thing two different ways and it's because there's different workflow situations in one situation where we're mastering and we're going to be maybe 100 percent wet the gain link might make sense right or if we're doing a track based thing and we're doing really excessive amounts of clipping and then using the parallel mixer and blending that in we may want to use the output trim to adjust the whole plug in output level so it gives you options and different workflows all right, now I want to talk about the metering in Gold Clip. Metering in Gold Clip is all connected, right? And so in the default state, we have plus 6 to negative 36 below the clip point. Um, if I have 4 dB of gain, I'm going to have 4 dB of clipping. And you're going to see that these peaks, these great peaks, which are the input peaks after gain, come up to plus 4 in this meter. If I change the scaling of the meter, I can double click on the scaling and now it's at plus 4, negative 24. And you can see this 4 dB of clipping is going right up to the top of this waveform display. And these meters, input and output, also change scaling as well. And so I'm zooming into the top. Uh, peaks of the waveform. If I double click again, now I'm at looking at the top two above the clip point down to negative 12 below the clip point, right? And so all these things are integrated. The reason that this says clip and not zero is because the ceiling of the clipper can move, right? And so if I pull this clipper down, that's going to push the waveform way up into the clip point and we're going to get tons of blacked out distortion like this, right? And now I'm going to bring this back 
and we're going to get the waveform back because now we're just not throwing as much gain into the clipper. Um, everything is like cleanly organized left to right. This blue line, this royal blue line correlates to this royal blue line, which is the clip point. The output has a royal blue line, which is the 0.0, .0 dBFS output. We always can see output signal here. And we have input short-term loops and output short-term loops. Right now we're doing 4 dB of clipping. So we're basically 4 dB louder on output. This is about average negative 5, 15 loops. And then the output is negative 11 loops because we're doing 4 dB of clipping. We're making it 4 dB louder. That's it for now. Thank you all for your time.